All right, so one of my uh, favorite sections of Los Angeles, Century City, which actually used to be the back lot to 20th Century Fox. Now I believe it's just 21st Century Fox or Fox Studios. You know, Disney acquired it, so. But yeah, it was the back lot to uh, 20th Century Fox. And uh, it was sold about 180 acres for about $300 million to this real estate developer named William Zeckendorf. And so this was back in the 60s. And so imagine it's turned into a business district and that's what all of this is. Century City. It's not huge. It's pretty small. I mean, you do have residents, you know, you got some luxury condos, whatever. But this is pretty much, it's like a little pocket right next to Beverly Hills. Um, and you got some pretty awesome buildings here too. You know, some people when they come to LA, they see these buildings and they think this is downtown LA. So it tends to confuse people because we don't have that many skyscrapers. We have the ones in downtown LA and then we have these. So if you're not familiar with Los Angeles, it can throw you off. But um, when I was a teenager, I used to call this the cleaner version of downtown LA. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is, cool little spot. I found out about Century City, let's see. I was going to uh, Emerson Middle School for summer school back in 91. And that's and my bus used to come up this route, I believe. And so that's when I found out about this little pocket right here. I was like, oh wow, what's this? You know what I mean? And there's a mall right around the corner from where we're standing, uh, the Westfield Mall, Century City Mall, you can call it that too. It's been there for years. And uh, that was a popular hangout for a lot of the Emerson kids, the Beverly Hills high school kids and other schools surrounding the area. Um, but yeah, I used to hang out there a lot, get a lot of celebrity sightings and things like that. But Minoru Yamasaki, very, very talented architect. He designed the World Trade Center in New York. Uh, he also designed those buildings right there. We, we, I guess you could say it's our own version of it, a shorter version. Similar uh, design or similar look, I guess you could say. Century Plaza Towers. And then you have this building right here, 2000 Avenue of the Stars. That was actually used in the movie Inception. I believe it was used as the headquarters. I forget what scene it was, but I know it was used in that film. Uh, and then also we have the Nakatomi Tower. Now, of course, the Nakatomi Tower was a fictional building featured in a movie called Die Hard. It's actually Fox Plaza because the studio is on the other side. So it's that building there, which if you really want to see it, just come and visit, you know, it's cool. Constellation which runs right here. There was a club, there used to be a building right here. You can see they had the um, remnants of what used to be there. So yeah, there was a building in that space and the old Century Club used to be there. So there used to be a club right here on Constellation called the Century Club. Went there quite a few times in the late 90s, early 2000s. They're even doing some renovations to the uh, Century Plaza Hotel, which, you know what, let's walk this way. So right now we're on Avenue of the Stars and Constellation, pretty much in the heart of Century City. So Minoru Yamasaki not only designed the Century uh, uh, Plaza Towers, he also designed this one, Century Plaza Hotel. A lot of the presidents would stay there when they would visit LA. But it's under renovation, you can see there's a back end right here which i'm just now noticing today man i tell you man la is changing 
so fast. I can't keep up with it. There's things that I still haven't done in this city. And there's things that I used to do that no longer exist. It's kind of frustrating sometimes, but change happens. But Century City is definitely one of my favorite locations here in LA. My name is Armand and this is where I grew up.